Hi, I'm Phil Gordon. I'm a former professional poker player, and now I'm CEO and founder of Jawfish Games. At Jawfish, we make real-time multiplayer tournaments so that you all can finally stop playing with yourself. <laughs> I'm pleased to launch and demo today the first three multiplayer tournament games. First up is a game called Matchup. Matchup was developed in partnership with Big Fish, and it features casual games of skill played in the first multiplayer real-time tournaments on mobile. This is a bracketed tournament. Think the NFL playoffs or March Madness basketball tournament. 16 players will register, and then we are kicking it off. I'm going to be in the upper left-hand corner. You'll notice in our games, the scores update in real time. And you can see exactly what's happening on your opponent's screen in real time in the bottom left-hand corner in the spy cam. Now, this is a very simple game of skill, but that's the point. Even the simplest games of skill are more fun when they're played in a multiplayer bracketed tournament. All right, the end of the round is coming up. At the end of this round, the winners will advance to the quarterfinals, the semifinals, and the finals, and the losers are out and are free to enter a different tournament. Now let me show you another format that we've created called Battle Royale. This is still within matchup. I'm going to play Mahjong, which is a speed tile game, speed matching tile game. Again, the, the scores are updating in real time. Four players in this game are playing simultaneously on the same screen. With the scores updating, you always know when you, where you stand when you're playing a game by Jawfish. Matchup went live today in Canada for the first time at 10.07 a.m. and will be available in the App Store on March 14th. Now, what's the big idea? Well, of the 135,000 games in the iOS Store, this is the first, world's first, real-time multiplayer tournament bracket. It's actually quite a hard problem from an engineering perspective. Companies like EA, Gree, GoCo have all tried and failed miserably at real time. The point is, those are great gaming companies that are trying to do complex software engineering. We are a software engineering company that makes great games. And my unfair advantage is the key engineering team that built Full Tilt Poker. Full Tilt was once the number two online poker site in the world that was servicing more than 200,000 simultaneous players in 100 countries in a real money gaming environment that was generating more than $3 million a day in revenue. This is the Jawfish engineering team. And we've built from scratch a mobile optimized, highly scalable tournament architecture that is built for the possibility of real money. Now let me show you what we're up to next. We developed on top of this platform an awesome poker game that we're launching next month called Jawfish Poker. Here we're entering a tournament and players will register in real time. These tournaments will kick off about every minute, so you're never going to be waiting for a tournament to start. Now if you've played Zynga Poker or any of the other poker games online, you know they're incredibly slow, painfully slow. Every hand takes about 90 seconds to play out. In Jawfish Poker, our hands take less than five seconds. When it's your turn to act, you have two options. You can either go all in or fold. You're immediately, you're immediately whisked to a brand new table to play against a different opponent in the field. Now here I've got queen two. I may have made a bad move. I went all in. My opponent called, and now we're in the run out view. I flopped a pair of deuces. I'm 75% to win. The jack on the turn. And the river is a nine, giving me the pot. And then again, I'm right, in, right into the next hand. Jawfish Poker is the fastest, most addicting poker game I've ever played. It'll be available in the App Store next month. And for fans of Boggle, Ruzzle, Scramble, and Wordament, four games that are in the top 100 on the iOS Store, we offer the first real-time variant on that game. This game is incredibly fun. Here we're going for high score, the corner tiles, and the longest word. Notice again that the scores will update in real time. You always know where you stand when you're playing a game by Jawfish. Now, as a testimony to our platform, the game that you're seeing today is one engineering man month of effort to produce a game of this complexity in real time. The 25 employees at Jawfish Games are making real time 
multiplayer tournaments so that finally you all can stop playing with yourself. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Awesome. Questions for Phil Gordon, legendary poker player? Yes, so I had some questions around the licenses. So you're building out the architecture which will make real money exchange work. Are you working with Bettable or are you built your own? And do you have actually have the licenses to be able to do that? In, yeah, uh, in thank you, Tony. Countries? We're not into real money gaming yet. Um, real money gaming, I think, is, is fraught with peril. We're a social gaming company right now, but we've built our architecture with real money in mind, right? Uh, so if you think about, there's a lot of stuff that has to happen in a real money gaming environment that you don't have to care about when you're doing just play chips, mm -hmm. right? So you don't have to do the fraud detection. You don't have to do payment processing. It'd be, you know, we're only 14 months old. It'd be crazy for us to invest in that sort of uh, stuff when we're only doing fake virtual chips for casual games of skill. So how do you make income then? Sorry? How do you make money? How do we make money? Yeah. Uh, can we go back to the slides? Thank you for asking. I don't think you can actually. No, you can't? Okay. Well, okay. every tournament's a virtual buy-in. So there's a 100-chip buy-in tournament, a 500-chip buy-in tournament, a 1,000-chip buy-in tournament. You start with 1,000 virtual chips when you enter our games. And you want to play at higher and higher stakes. If there's anything that I've learned as a professional poker player is that once you're a high stakes player, you don't want to go back and grind <coughs> at the lower levels. It's like playing $100 a hand at blackjack. You're not going to go play the $5 tables after that, right? So people get used to playing the higher level tournaments, and then they run into some really good competition at those higher levels. They go broke, and they have to rebuy virtual chips. Part of your video showed Big Fish Games, I thought the company was called Jawfish. Yeah, our company is Jawfish. Matchup, the game that, that was the majority of the demonstration was developed in a partnership with Big Fish. Big Fish is a very large social gaming maker yeah. out of Seattle. A and they have a game called Card Ace Casino. Yes. So why would they partner with you if you're gonna compete with them on a game that's very similar? Uh, you'll have to ask Paul Thelen. Their well, what's, CEO. well, what's your answer? My answer is we have something that no one else in the world had and Paul saw the possibilities for real-time tournament gaming, and he was smart enough to back a very high-quality engineering team that could build something that no one else in the world had ever built. Thanks. And are you going to continue to invest in first-party games, or will it yeah. be more of a platform? So we're done with the partnerships. We're not doing any more third-party deals. We have the secret sauce, and now it's time to make our own games on top of our platform. So although we're tremendously proud of MatchUp and our partnership with Big Fish, that's that we're done. We're a gaming company. We make great games on top of this amazing platform. So you compete compete directly with them then? We're going to be competing directly with Big Fish, I suppose so, yeah. What is uh, better, to be a big fish in a small pond or a small <laughs> fish in a big pond? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's one of the reasons that we located the company in Seattle as opposed to San Francisco. Uh, in Seattle, of course, there's a, a lot of great advantages there, but we're going to be a big fish up there, just named, just named Jawfish. And also, you mentioned that you were a professional poker player. Yes, sir. Where, uh, which is more risky, to be a professional poker player or to start a startup? <laughs> yeah, so, so look, uh, when I turned pro 10 years ago, my parents asked me, they said, why do you want to be a gambler? And what I told them then is, I've never gambled a day in my life. What I am is a strategic investor. I was a strategic investor. I like it, yeah. I was a strategic investor when I was a p p poker player. Every time I put $100 in the pot, I, wanted, I got more than $100 back out. Not every time, but when I was playing Jason, it was every time, but <laughs> nearly every time I put $100 in, I'd get more than $100 True. back out. And that's exactly, the opportunity here was just so huge when I could pick up this amazing engineering talent that I retired from poker 15 months ago to pursue full-time uh, Jawfish games. Great. And last question. I, you know, my English is not so good. From the laughter, I understood that in your presentation there was some kind of a word, word play. Can you elaborate on it? And <laughs> <laughs> Are you married? <laughs> 50 years, almost. Okay, that explains it. Yeah. I'll leave it okay. at that. We'll take it off stage. <laughs> All right, let's hear it for Phil Garden and Joe. Thank you.